Um, my name is Jason Entaro. I'm a poet from the Lantern Meter Poets. And uh, the poem I'm going to do is a poem called Stand Up and Realize. What? What will it take for us to stand up and realize it's our eyes that we pitch black? What will it take for us to stand up and realize the motherland? Money. Now you see, the motherland, she sinks. She sinks into the trench and we slather her in the stench of corporate social responsibility and oh, heavy just... words like Sorry. peace, <laughs> sustenance, <laughs> and democracy. And now we, we live in a world where this party fights the other, forgetting that they are each other's brother, spilling their own blood, diligently dealing death's card. Unity, well, unity is misunderstood. And now this, our motherland, our home runs empty, empty as the empty hearts and minds that run it, living off of a past revolution's vomit. And it goes on, it goes on. It goes on, and us, we just sit here and we watch it all go on. What will it take? What will it take for us to stand up and realize that it's our eyes that we pitch black? What? You see, about 28 years ago, Uganda cried injustice, and she found a semblance of peace. But now, And we complain? Too, Who do we complain about? That too is Sorry. gone. A skeptic optimist I might be. I find myself here, and I am hoping, and I'm doubting, I am washing my own hands in my own sweat, but what? What does my own sweat benefit me? It's unclear. The unfair get paid a greater fear and instill in us a fear to stand up and speak. The military personnel, they, they litter the streets, AK-47s and the likes dangling to their knees. Plain cloth police watch every breath that we breathe, and yet still, and yet still, and yet still, we will not speak. What will it take? You Statistics so show ah, that 36 ah, million Ugandans, about 28 million of these are what the youth. Life? But now, of these 28 million youths, 82% are unemployed and used. And so, so now, as we stand here tonight, 24 million youths, meaning 24 million youths, Ugandans, out of 36 million Ugandans stand unemployed and used. We need to face the truth. We do. If we don't let the youth make use of their skills, can we blame them for indulging in the ill? We need to stand up and realize the belly aching mothers are selling sweets and cigarettes by the street side. They're patiently there sitting and waiting day after day. And for what? For peanuts, for pay. Belging bullied babies are there holding their hands out, begging for a way out. And yet still, we will not shout. What will it take? What will it take for us to stand up and realize that it's our eyes that we pitch black? We pitch our eyes black and forget that we are the ones who made the reality. We forget that this is our society. We start to now hold on to different things that do not make our lives and then we start to tell ourselves subtle little lies. We start to now embrace different things that make no sense to us. We start to say things and we start to curse each other. But what is our own weather? Destiny. Destiny. Destiny is our place. Destiny is our place. Why must we remove our places and go and consume different kinds of faces? To be displaced. To be displaced. To, di to be displaced. When we are displaced, we walk in a maze that makes us amaze ourselves in different kinds of places that do not embrace us where we're supposed to be. In the situation. In the situation. In the situation. In the situation there is a nation. In the situation there is a nation that tries to stop us, that stops us, that blocks us, that helps us not, but cuts us short. Where do we go? What do we do? What is the use? Where do the ends meet? Where do the ends meet? We must fix our feet. Thank you.